Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode. And today, this is episode two as a part of our seven part chakra series. We're going to be talking everything to do with the sacral chakra. Now, before I begin, I want to let you know if you're brand new to MK Love fam, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I'm an international childhood trauma healer, helping you to heal that emotional pain from your childhood trauma, break that cycle of abuse in your family, which will enable you to begin manifesting the partner of your dreams. That means no more toxic relationships, no more, no more second guessing yourself and to be in a vibration of true love. Now, this pleasure center is an interesting one. If you're someone who was sexually abused as a child, this is going to trigger a lot for you. So just be mindful of this. Whatever comes up, I want you to repeat after me. I am where I am and it's okay. Now this could bring up a lot for you, whether you were sexually abused, whether you were in a toxic relationship and your sex life was just very much aggressive and pounding and there was no love in it and you're like, holy shit, I feel like you're gonna break my vagina kind of thing. We've all been there. Now the sacral chakra is an energy center within the body that's located around the pelvic area. It's responsible for your emotions. It's just emotions taking me over. Um, and your creativity as well. So if you are an artist or you're somebody who relies heavily on your creativity for your work, this is an interesting pleasure center, or not pleasure center, this is an energy center that could totally help you out. Now, let's get into the details. It identifies with the element of water, which makes sense if we look at the tarot cards, the emotions is linked with cups, which is water. Its biggest challenge actually comes with making peace with guilt. If you've ever felt guilty, either you're blocking your own pleasure from doing things that you want to do and you're people pleasing, which that's another topic in itself, whatever you're at, or you felt guilty um, or dirty after you had like a one night stand with someone, you're like, what the fuck did I do that for? I don't even know his name. Um, and then I heard that song from Carrie Underwood. I took a Louis V slug to both headlights. Maybe next time the thing before he cheats. I can't think of the words. Next time that he cheats. Oh, you know it won't be on me. Okay, um, that's from her album Carnival Ride. That's a really old album, but super good. Um, so maybe some of you have been cheated on or maybe you have cheated on somebody else. So that could bring a lot of guilt around that. This is interesting. Um, so let's have a look on the screen right now and talk about what does it mean if your sacral chakra is um, deficient, balanced or excessive. Have a look on the screen right now. So if you're deficient, it means that you could be emotionally numb. You may have um, a creativity block, fears of intimacy, menstrual issues, infertility, excessive, you could be emotionally unstable, have unhealthy boundaries, codependent, manipulative, or have sexual addictions. Holy flipping shipples. Now look at the balance one. The means you could have emotional freedom. You could be very nurturing towards yourself and others. Your creativity is off the flipping hook. You have healthy boundaries and you have sensual or sexual freedom. So there's a lot involved in this one here. So much of your emotion stems from your sacral chakra. If you feel that if you're in a relationship and you're easily triggered, or maybe you're in a codependent relationship with somebody who, you know, it's basically a self-sabotaging thing that you do to yourself where you put the needs of somebody above your own to the point where you don't exist anymore. It's the ultimate form of self-betrayal. So I used to be in a codependent relationship. I was emotionally unstable. I had unhealthy boundaries. Um, I didn't really have sexual addictions, but I was very promiscuous. Um, menstrual issues. Oh, that was an interesting one. That's a whole topic in itself. And that's why in my coaching program, we talk a whole week about healing this. We go through each of the chakras for each week. It's an eight week program, but seven of those weeks are dedicated explicitly to healing the chakras. There's so much involved in it. Oh my gosh, I get women that come to me who 
don't have their they've lost a sense for who they are they were in toxic relationships they allowed people to mistreat them i had women who have been raped molested everything under the sun and they're attracting people who are a vibrational match to where they're at if they truly learn to love themselves and respected their themselves and they wouldn't be attracting these people into their vibration but wherever you're at just know i just repeat this i am where i am and it's okay you have the power to change your life the fact that you're watching this video speaks volumes about where you're at on your journey so there's so much to say about this so much there's so much more than just what i've written down here it's kind of just giving you a snapshot of what it is um what it it's like the awareness of what you need to look out for so let's pull the tarot cards and see what your angels want you to know for your sacral chakra i think i just missed that card it looked like it was the magician let's see if it comes out again i got the power angels oh you got the power all right you got the queen of wands the queen of wands is a very beautiful dynamic woman and she is a fire sign. She's got this fire in her belly. Um, she's very enigmatic. She's somebody who, her sexually charged. She's someone who celebrates her sexuality. She's not intimidated. She feels pain, whatever comes up and doesn't allow it to ruin her day. She feels it and she cries her tears. She does her journaling. She joins my women's moon circle and heals and sing with mama moon. But she knows that what has happened to her in the past has no hold over her anymore. She looks at it from a place of love and she's like, thank goodness you did this to me. Thank God you did that. Like I was sexually abused in my four year toxic relationship. I was sexually abused. I didn't realize it until recently when I was working with one of my clients who was sexually abused as a child and as an adult. And she triggered me and she mirrored to me things that I hadn't seen before because if you ever, ever have been sexually abused, your brain is magnificent at at blocking that trauma until you are ready to heal. So I had flashes every now and then I get another flash, another flash. I was like, fuck, I can't believe I allowed someone to do this to me. And I got so mad at myself, but I was like, if I knew what I knew now, honey, there is no way I would have put up with that shit. I would have been like, fuck you, you know? And it's so interesting. It's like me back then, like this is over 10 years ago. This is like, how long have I been with Peter? Like four and a half years single for like seven before that yeah so we're looking around 10 10 11 years and i'm now remembering it now as an adult i'm 33 for goodness sake well, 33 tomorrow no i would be 33 by the time you're watching this video and i'm having flashbacks from what happened in my 20s like that's crazy so i feel like it's just harnessing that inner strength harnessing which the strength actually comes when we go to the next chakra for next week the solar plexus that's your personal power but it's harnessing harnessing this within you let's see the other cards because there was a lot so we've got the chariot but that one is reverse the, char the chariot is like movement which is the lack of movement seven of pentacles seven of pentacles to me is seeing the fruits of your labor so now in order to get to the queen of wands where you're at there's a lot of work that you've had to do a lot of healing that you've had to do a lot of self-discovery the sun you're now seeing you're out of the darkness now you're not in those relationships anymore and you're looking at them from a place of love you've got your heart out to the sun the sun links with the next chakra the solar plexus the knight of cups you wear your heart on your sleeve you're somebody who loves love like you want to see the best in people and and before you found that fire within you that that sun to illuminate you and take you out of the darkness um i'm not a stranger to the dark fire away they say because we don't want your broken parts i learned to be ashamed of all my scars run away oh no won't let them bring me down the dust I know that there's a place for us, for your glory is. I can't remember what the name of the song is, but you know from The Greatest Showman. So you were, 
yeah, you've come such a long way. Then the two cards are reversed. It's the three of cups, so you weren't actually seeking your soul tribe. You did a lot of this by yourself. Maybe you're now at the stage where you want help. And the Ten of Swords, that was a card that actually came from the Root Chakras reading just before, and it's reversed. So it's like there's a lot that you had to go through, and you're kind of like, I don't know if I can heal. I don't know if I can get through this. Your angels are saying that you are ready, and if you're willing to heal, you have to make yourself a priority. You can't just sit there and have wishful thinking and be like, I want, I want to feel free. I want to break free. It's like you have to make yourself a priority. How are you going to do that today? What are you going to do? There's two ways that I can help you. You can sign up for my women's moon circle. Every full moon we join together, we heal in sync with Mama Moon and with what's going on astrologically. So it's a new thing each month. Or if you want intensive help, you can work one-on-one -on -one with me with my women's online coaching program. It's an eight-week program. Um, it's very intensive. I only recommend you join that. I only work with four clients a month, by the way. So it's an app you have to apply to see if we're a vibrational match to work together. That is if you need intensive support and you're like, I don't know what else to flip to do. If I don't heal this, I don't know if I'm still going to be here. That's the kind of gripping where it's like you're willing to do whatever it takes. So there are your two options that I can help you out further. But just know that you have the power. It's time for you to take your power back and to feel like a sensual, sexual being, to be able to seek pleasures in all aspects of your life, whether platonic, whether it's like just drinking chai tea or rooibos tea or uh, I don't know, whatever you love to do to make you feel good, whatever pleasure means for you. And then what does it pleasure mean for you sexually? I work a lot with the menstrual cycle and with yoni eggs to insert them into your vagina to actually heal trauma. And I've literally felt my trauma get attached from like the outside of my uterus and from my cells. I have felt it attach to my, um, my yoni egg, my black obsidian egg, which helps with releasing trauma. And I've felt that trauma come out of my vagina as I birth the egg out. Craziness, but I talk exclusively about that in my program. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for being here. I truly hope that this has given you some clarity and the awareness on what you could do in your life and what are some signs to look out for. If you need help, the links are in the description. I've got my moon circle or my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And before you go, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Comment down below. Are you deficient, balance, or excessive? Write it down below. Surrender to the process. I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. No matter how bad your situation is right now, everything is temporary. You have the power to change it. And I can help you if you need it. If not, there's a million other videos out there. Your angels could bring you some divine synchronicities. Surrender to the process. I'll talk to you next video. Have an amazing day. I love you so much. Bye.